Our next speaker is uh, uh, Paco Sanchez, CEO of uh, Pepper Money uh, uh, Spain. It's working. Thank you, Sama, for, for bringing me here. He grabbed me three days ago, you know, so I didn't prepare something very fancy for a marketing world. Uh, I always wanted to be a marketing, at marketing. I'm going to explain in, in, in the next five minutes, six minutes, the challenge we faced during the last three years. It's very simple. I'm going to put some context. Pepper is a financial services company that operates in different countries. In Spain, the challenge was we need to create a consumer credit, which is to help at the point of sale, which is to help physical stores to finance customers to acquire whatever, furniture, electro, on monthly installments. We give the loan, and they get the service, and they make the sale. The problem with that is that that's a very competitive market. So the challenge for us was the following. We need to attend a customer, which is the merchant, very demanding, and we are not going to make money on that loan. And the company is going to work hard to be in that mer in merchant. We are going to make money on our ability to transform that customer into a long-term relationship. So it's a game of how digital helped us on the merchant world and how the data analytics helped us and predictive modeling helped us in the real money driven of the company. I think I need my... Yeah, sorry. Thank you very much. So the slides are very simple. Yeah, this is what I explained. We were not, or we are not, disruptive company or fintech company. So this is nothing related with that. We are a proper lender company. What we offer to the merchant is basically something very simple. We said, we cannot compete in price, we cannot compete in many things with Santander, VVA, they collapse the market. Let me tell you that if I'm still, he if I'm still here, it's because we did it, right? But no one did it except us for the last 15 years in the Spanish market. The way we, we faced the challenge was very simple. The best experience for the merchant. Yes, we de developed a nice web application, multi-device, e-contracts, e-signatures, everything that helps really the merchant to provide that application in the most simple, efficient, and reliable way. How we do that? It worked? Yes, it worked. Yes, this is us. When we started third quarter 2014, and then we grew, competitors let us grow, watched us, who are you, Pepper Money? How is possible you steal market for me? Then they worked hard to stop us, but then we rebump, rebump again on the growth. The lessons we learn is that it's not enough what we do at the first stage. We are on an ongoing basis changing everything we do to facilitate, to make it much more easier to the merchant to, to provide a loan. What type of things are winners, for example? A winner is something like this. Yes, I'm going to leave that here. We work with physical stores. So Spanish guy show up in a physical store and want to buy a sofa. He wants to pay 12 months installments. He has the offer in front of him. How works this for us? Right, works like this. If you have a mobile, a mobile smartphone, most of the Spaniards has one. I don't know why, but that's the case. And you have your identity card, your dry license, right? We just, the retailer only needs to make a picture of this. We automatically store the image, which is legally obligation. We extract the information, we check the fraud, we run the score, we make a decision, most of the decision. The only further information we need from the customer is obviously the mobile phone and the email. Why? We're gonna send the contract to the smartphone to the customer in one second because the, the loan is approved. He's at the store. He says, oh, I got the contract, yes, and you got the PIN in a different email. You can use that PIN, four digits, into the contract. The loan is yours. Yeah, but I forgot my bank account 20 digits number. Okay, the loan is done. You only need to go home, grab the 20 number, call the retailer. That's a big thing for a retailer because he's doing many things on a day. So we developed the second ability, which is we send an email or an SMS to the retailer and the retailer, when he gets the information, just click the link, the field pops up, he fills out, he click again, it's done. We facilitate their lives. That's only half an example and only half of the process. 
we don't make money there, but we dedicate most of our time because we need, we, we, we need those customers for the second part of the game. The second part of the game is what we do with those customers. We know many things about those customers. We know which point of sale they use, what they bought, where they live, how they pay. We know a lot. So our real job is to gather all that information, more information if we can, and start modeling. We as a financial entity model two things. One is propensity, and another thing is risk. It's not only that we sell, it's that the customer needs to pay us back during the time. Modeling propensity is rather easy. Modeling payback is not so easy. Right? Then, basically, modeling has been in our lives for many years, a couple of decades at least. But the way the world is transforming on that space is brutal. We are not anymore, we are transforming the company, we are not anymore doing internally that. There are multiple providers um, in, in, in outside of the company that are providing really very strong predictive modeling that is including the machine learning that we need desperately to make money. Please remind, we don't make money on the point of sale, we need to really do a second personal loan to that customer, to that borrower. For us it's very important, three things. To know every day which customer is eligible for a personal loan. Not all of them are eligible. What is the best loan for that customer? And if a customer is not having a loan with me, and is not getting a loan, what's the next marketing action I need to do? What's the next channel, the next communication piece, the next message I need to do? All of that is driven through analytics and through predictive modeling. And that's basically what we do. We make loans. I'm not going to tell you how many loans we do, but we do a lot of loans. Otherwise, I would not be here, right? And very profitable. That's my experience. Thank you very much.